All right, so last time I showed you this video on my channel on how to identify network threats. Some of this data that you're looking at, especially um, in on this here, unique source IPs and stuff like that, that's coming from NetFlow. And what I'm doing is I'm taking data from my Cisco Meraki device. I'm literally sending the data from my Cisco Meraki device. I'm just sending it as NetFlow data to my elk sim on this port and usually when that works you get graphs like this and you, if you go to the network section you can even see some um, geolocation maps but today as you can see here i don't have any data here in fact i don't have any dns unique flows this is because my net flow is not working and the first thing that i do is i sign into my Elastic SIM solution try to find out since I'm only sending NetFlow data from here from Meraki to my SIM uh, using a log stash module I have to check to see if log stash is running so if I do a service log stash status I see that my service is running however I have some issues with my NetFlow module the error that I'm getting and I'm also input.udp there is this error here with some Java stuff all right so from doing some research you can see that uh, from here this person here from October 2019 says that uh, looks such like netflow module is deprecated so that's what I'm using I'm using logstash all right so if if it was deprecated that explains why i'm having issues so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop log stash here and then uh, let's do what they are suggesting the net flow module in 7.4 all right so here's here are some notes here my data is coming from Cisco Meraki MX100. I'm using port UDP port 6500. And that's it. So going back here on the setup information to set up NetFlow module. It says X pack here. I hope I won't run into issues with that. Debian, this is what you do. On Windows, this is what you do. So let's go ahead and enable it. Let's hope that I do have my file bit installed. Let's do that. This is the only way to find out. Mojo Netflow is already enabled. Okay. So now I need to find out how do I configure my file bit to get my data. All right, the first thing that we need to do is let's edit our file bit .yml file. This is the file that we use to configure the output uh, to our Elastic or to, Elas to, to um, Logstash. In this case, I'm writing directly to Elasticsearch. So if I do that, this is what the YAML file looks like. I just want to do an insert. For my file bit, I don't change anything really in here except for this right here. The host. For the Kibana, I just specified the IP address of my actual server. That's for Kibana. Then uh, I'm outputting it to Elasticsearch, which is also on lo local host, or you can use the same IP address. So those are the two fields that you need to change in here, in your... Uh, configuration file for file bit but there's one more place we need to go so let's uh, escape here all right next we need to go to the etc file bit modules because we enabled the netflow module for file bit so now we go to that location then in here if you do an ls you see that we have netflow.yaml everything else is disabled and this is what you can use for when you are working with other things like uh, MySQL data. So you do, I'm using VI, NetFlow. And what I want from our earlier notes here, 
I said I'm using port UDP port 6500. You want to come in here and change this port to whatever port you have configured in your Meraki. And in my Cisco Meraki, like I showed you earlier, it's port 600. This is the only change I made to Meraki. I enabled NetFlow from this drop down here and specify the port. Then when I come here, the same port has to be here. Net, net, NetFlow host, to be safe, you need to put the IP address of your NetFlow host. So in this case, I'll be specifying the IP address of my Cisco Meraki. That's the safest way. Then uh, you quit. Then from there, you just restart your start your file bit. So I can do a service file bit restart. Boom. Then let's give it a minute here. And after a minute, if we go back to our Kibana, and if you do a refresh here, as you can see, we are already we are now getting NetFlow data. File bit NetFlow, as you can see, these events are now going up. So what this means is my Meraki is now sending data here and I can now have a lot of data in my SIM solution. I can use this data to uh, troubleshoot any issues that I might have on this network. I can use this data to follow up on any issues that I'm having. So this is just from the last 15 minutes, as you can see. I mean, this is amazing that it, it works. So this was a video on how to get your data from Cisco Meraki to your elastic sim more videos about the sim solution in network network monitoring coming on this channel so remember to like and subscribe if you like this type of content otherwise i'll see you in the next video